Hi guys, today we're looking at the brand new Harley Benton 215 and maybe some guitars. Hey guys, Chris here. Guillaume here, hi. And we're checking out this baby, it's the Tube 15. It's a one channel, all tube Harley Benton amp. It has 15 watts, you can scale it down to one watt, and it has a channel, which you can, you know. It's a pretty sort of, flexible channel. Yeah, you, you can use it as a break up -y kind of old school rock, yep. uh, blues kind of um, channel, basically, or sound, or you go back with the gain and crank it for some pretty loud, clean, yeah, Sounds. yeah, definitely. You can also go the full dad rock road, yeah, yeah, all the way yeah. up, and twelve it up, or yeah. eleven it, or whatever. <laughs> it's gonna go. Oh, it goes to five. Five? <laughs> no way. Plus five, minus, minus five. That's weird. Oh wow. Okay. Where well, you want to have your bass? Minus, um, minus two. two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does have an effects loop. It has an output for an external cabinet in case you want to use one. Yeah, which is nice and also has a proper spring reverb tank in there. It's not a digital effect, it's yeah. real reverb, yeah. which is cool. You wanna try it out? Yay! For the playing, let's swap guitars. Uh, there are some new Harley Bends out, which you guys keep on asking for, so uh, why not use them? I am playing a sparkly purple Fusion 2 HH Harley. And I'm playing the brand new Fusion T. Right. In a, a shade of green. <laughs> a shade of green. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Pretty though. Round one is gonna be um, us trying to set it up for a clean sound and then for a break up B kind of sound. You wanna go clean? Yes. Okay, let's uh, fiddle with the knobs. I just can I can I have reverb? Yes, please. <laughs> have all the reverb. I like reverb. Wait, <laughs> how how much how much does it go up? Yeah, with hummockers it sort of starts to break up. Yeah. I'm not sure how much the uh, the DB meter was uh, no, showing, but it, it felt loud. I yeah. mean, for 15 more, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. If that's enough for a really, really loud band, like in a rehearsal room, not sure, but it could work. It's it's on the edge. All right, uh, crunch me. I try it with the single coil and humbucker. I have this mini toggle for a coil split. <laughs> Let me try it, bridge humbucker. And I need to archer this one. It's almost fuzzy. Yeah, that's on time. Okay, that's maybe so a little too much. All of the game. Because it's like not too tight anymore. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. maybe if we go back to like sort of one, yeah, one o'clock ish. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay, that, I like that. That's that was the uh, vintage overdrive from yeah. Hardy Benton, which is uh, a green pedal. <laughs> well, and <laughs> and the, the Archer from J Rocket. Together, stacked together into the crank. Into the crank. Okay, that was a surprise. It didn't get too fizzy. Let's put it back sort of clean and see how it takes drive pedals on there. Oh yeah, good point. All right, I turn off the reverb. Let's try just with the vintage overdrive. I've seen that flicking with your pinky. It's like it's like you're you're getting used to the tally vibe. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a, it's a cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's a, a cool, cool placement yeah, for. I, I know. I, I like know. it. I like it's the it best too. placement. Just saying. It's not the best. It's, D, it's D a for cool life. One. D for life. It's a cool one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, so nice. this was the uh, Archer and the uh, Vintage Overdrive yep. again, right? Yeah. Same, but without yeah. the gain on the app. Yes. So All right. It's a, is it safe to say it does take pedals well? Yeah. It's safe to say. Safe. All right, let's check out the specs. Yes. Tubes, 12 AX7s. In the preamp and EL84 in the power amp, two of them. So 15 watt total that you can dial down to one watt, which is cool. You do have the normal EQ, like three band EQ, but you mm. also have a tone. Now, yeah. Which is nice because it sort of lets you tweak the treble and the presence. Speaker, it's to say Celestian. Celestian, Celestian 70. 70. 70. Pluses. Reverb for sure, because oh, yeah. I like a good spring reverb. The cleans are nice. Okay. Like I mostly play clean with a lot of reverb, so that's pretty much my, that fits the bill. The breakup was nice, like up to five or six, that was a really nice, warm. Which is one o'clock, okay, just to. Yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. five or six on the, on the panel. You. Pros, uh, I do like the breakup, uh, probably even a little more than the clean sound, mm -hmm. uh, especially this 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock yeah. kind of gain setting. Uh, I think it was really chewy and really nice and spongy. I loved it. It does get a little muddy if you crank it, but you don't necessarily have to crank it. That's what pedals are there for. And it's obviously a, a pedal friendly amp, so that's how it's Definitely, supposed to be yeah. used. Uh, I do like the volume. It's not a quiet 15 watts. Minus is for me, <laughs> it's the looks. Yeah. I, don't, I like the, uh, the Tolex. This is, it's all cool. What I don't like is the black grill. I would have, I would have went for something like creamy, maybe, or something, but you know, whatever. I mean, you cream. can probably change it, I don't know. I guess so, yeah. Nice to have the effects loop, obviously. Even though if you don't want to crank it, you don't need it. If you want to crank the preamp. You can always use your delays you do and need reverbs it, and everything. Yeah. All right, you guys take it easy. Thanks very much for watching. And if you have any questions, let us know down there in the comment section. I was about to say that, you knew it. I knew it. It's almost like if we knew each other. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys.